Oh, Gordon, thank God you're okay. Hold on a sec. I'll get you out of there. Hope this still works. Stand back. Here goes. Wow. I forgot what a kick this thing has. Here, you take the gravity gun. You're better with it than I am. What the hell is happening? Carry us to where the vehicle is. Thanks, Gordon. The sentries should have spotted us by now. Looks like you think the combine found them?
major fracture did any tools for working on cars. Tools? <laughs> Are you all right? Wake up, dog. Please. <laughs> You're all right. <laughs> you have so good. You working all right? You all right down there? We're fine. Dog okay. Better now. We've been waiting for you. Just follow the stream, then head up the other side. White Forest is right there! You can't miss it! All right, thanks. Okay, let's go. Come on, Gordon. Get the car and we'll show us how to a race. Good. 
Good boy. Looks like we need your help again. Would you mind? Race you to the base! <laughs> Step on it, Gordon. Next time, slow poke. Freeman, you made it. Hey! Boy, are we glad to be here. Yeah, we heard you ran into a little trouble out there. The Combine's been trying to head in the front door. <laughs> I think they learned their lesson. You mind if we uh, keep dog patrolling out here? <laughs> Not at all. You heard him, dog. I'm gonna go see Dad. I'll catch up to you later. You take care of yourself. I don't think Eli knows you're here yet. He's in silo one access unit, right through here. You feel it? Shall we? I don't feel anything anymore. Get back! Oh no, what's that? All right, back to work, everyone. It's just another false alarm in the secondary silo. Same old Dr. Magnuson. That's all that matters. No time now, Doc. And look at you, son. <laughs> I knew if you both stayed together, you could get through anything. Yeah? We make a pretty good team. <laughs> yeah, well, that's good, because, well, now that the suppression feels down, we all have to do our part. Dad! Can you blame an old man for warning grandkids? <laughs> <laughs> What's... what happened to you? Dad, it's not what it looks like. I'm fine. Are you sure? Shouldn't we have that looked at? Really? I'm fine. Uh, hey, Doc. Where's Dr. Time Kleiner? Later. We should get this data to him right away. Uh, okay. Yes. Yes, we should. He'll be glad for a chance to get out of the silo. This way, Gordon. The way he and Magnuson have been going at it, you'd think they were still competing for grant money. <laughs> <laughs> Some things never change. <laughs> Do we have any idea how long until the super portal's active? We don't know for sure. We're keeping an eye on it. And what about the Combine? Will we be able to launch before they attack? It's gonna be close. All it would take is one strider to destroy our rocket. But we're ready for them. I'm sorry, we couldn't get here any sooner, Dad. Don't worry, sweetheart. I'm just so glad to have you back. <sighs> I'm glad to be back. <sighs> Magnuson, there's no call. Eli, 
Why didn't you tell me they'd arrive? Don't worry, Izzy. They just got here. My dear, what a relief. Not to mention a delight to see you here at last. And Gordon, I see you and the AGV suit have taken excellent care of each other. <laughs> They're inseparable. The data, people, the data! Kleiner, are you going to sync up the satellite? Or should I postpone the launch to make time for a family reunion? All right, all right. I was just saying hello to Alex and Gordon. Oh, fine. No one grants me a moment's peace, but by all means, unroll the red carpet. Good grief. I only meant they might... Oh, never mind him. Now, my dear, where is this data packet you've been carrying? If I delay a single moment, I'll never hear the end of it. You have my word on it. It's right here, Dr. Kleiner. We've got a ton of data. The strange thing is, it was all attached to a transmission from Judith. Transmission? From Judith? Do you mean the message didn't get through? We've got to see this right away. Just let me start the decoding process, and then we can view it in the auxiliary control room. For God's sake, hurry. Yes, yes, of course. Another alarm? Oh, what next in the parade of constant interruptions? Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? Anyone? <sighs> Folks, alarms all day. Damn crows have been nesting on the tracks. I do not know how I am supposed to concentrate with all of this racket. Freeman. Freeman, you're not doing anything. Make yourself useful and find out what the hell is going on. Uh, yes. Gordon, if you don't mind, I'd feel better if you had a look. Catch up with us when you're done. Freeman! Last doors will have sealed due to the alert, so you'll have to go through the bottom of the launch tube. Uh, now, once you're down there, I'll have Uriah let you into the secondary side. Attention personnel, this is Dr. Magnuson. Since the secondary silo staff seem incapable of solving their little crow problem, you will be happy to hear we have put the popular Dr. Freeman on the job. We all look forward to his remedy. And I look forward to hearing the staff's excuses for why they couldn't handle it themselves. Thank you for your patience. Well met. Borealis. Good 
god. Incredible. What? The Borealis? It's real? Oh yes, quite real, despite its almost legendary stature. Our peers at Aperture Science were at work on a project of some promise, but in their rush to beat Black Mesa for funding, they must have compromised ordinary standards of risk. We heard their research vessel had simply disappeared, vanished with all hands, and even part of the dry dock. Been lost forever. Ah, found it. Did you use it? Think of the simply waste all that potential. Black Mesa taught you anything? There's no controlling that kind of power. Well, yes, there's always a risk, Eli. But my goodness, we have coordinates, blueprints, hailing frequencies. Genius, Dr. Mossman, to hide it all in the carrier way. Well, that means she's still alive up there. But if the Combine catch her, they'll tear out everything she knows. There'll be nothing left. But we don't know for sure I won't that... take that chance. I'm going after Dad! Her. Now, Eli, the only thing worse than Judith falling into their hands would be if they should get a hold of you! She may know the particulars of the Borealis, but you, you know everything about the Resistance. Listen to Dr. Kleiner, Dad. Gordon and I are more than able to handle this. We'll get her back. Kleiner, where are you? Why isn't the decoding finished? Oh, fine. The code. Yes, Magnuson. It just needs a little bit longer. If you're waiting for the Combines, go ahead. They'll soon be here to give it to you in person. I'll hurry along, Magnuson. I'll be back as soon as I finish. Dad, are you okay? Not again. No, I can't. I can't let it happen again. Not another Black Mesa. Dad, prepare for unforeseen consequences. What did you say? Dad! Okay. It's okay. Just, just lean into me. Let's get you off your feet. Thank you, baby. I'll be fine in a minute or two. Okay. Do you need anything? Actually, Alex, would you... Would you mind getting me a cup of tea? There's a hot plate in the old staff room. I'll be right back. Gordon, you keep an eye on him? We're, we're not going anywhere. Thank you, baby. Unforeseen consequences. The last time I heard those words was back at Black Mesa. You had just shot out of the test chamber when you whispered them in my ear. No, our mutual friend. When he brought in that crystal, I knew I I should have aborted that damn test, but I didn't. The whole world went to hell that day. And now. Now he's using my little girl, putting words in her mouth. God damn it. I should have known when he rescued her it was for his own damn reasons. Gordon, there's so much I need to tell you. Between us, we may finally have a chance. Uh, Here you go. Is everything all right? There's nothing, honey. All right, people, change of plans. There is no way we can launch before those striders are... Oh, oh, excuse me if I'm... I'll just step out until you've finished, if that's more convenient. It's all right, honey. Well, Freeman, I believe I've found the perfect use for you. Follow me, quickly. We'll, uh, we'll talk later. I'll catch up with you. Freeman, striders are coming. A single one of those damn things could shoot down our rocket. We don't dare launch until all Striders are destroyed. Now you've proved yourself capable, and the staff seem to respect you. Therefore, I'm putting Defense of White Forest and this ingenious new weapon of mine in your hands. We call it the Magnuson device. Not my chosen label, you understand, but it seemed to please the personnel. 
Now look lively in there. Warm up the delivery port. Now what it is, is a sort of sticky bomb. Although cleverer than that makes it sound. From your point of view, you merely pitch the device at the Strider's hull. Then blow it up. I've struggled with a mechanism for launching the device, but... Well, your zero-point energy field manipulator clears up that little problem. Now follow me, and we'll let you get in some practice while we still have time. Don't be alarmed, Freeman. This Strider's days of impaling your friends are a thing of the past. Now, out in the field, we'll supply you with all the Magnuson devices you need through delivery ports like this one. For the safety of the base, these devices are deactivated. They cannot explode on those you will. That's right. I toss it at the main body of the Strider. There you go. Ah, not too difficult at this range, is it? Gets a bit harder when it's moving about and firing at you, of course. Now, let's move on to a more challenging task. Uriah, send the target to the far end of the rails. Magnificent device, isn't it? I'll be right over here when you are ready to head up. Had enough? Your car is fueled and ready to go. Now, every building in the valley has its own dispenser port, so you'll have ample supply of explosives. Now, I must get back to my rocket, Freeman. I'm relying on you not to squander my trust. Or my Magnusons. Oh, and Freeman, if you pull this off, I might just forgive you for that debacle at Black Mesa. You know the one I mean, involving a certain microwave casserole. Hey, Dr. Freeman, over here. I've taken a few liberties with your car. Check it out. I added a rack for Magnuson devices back here. I tweaked your onboard radar so the combines show up red on the dashboard unit now. Plus, it'll send a homing signal to your HEV suit in case you get separated from your car. No need to thank me. Now check this map. We're right here at the south end of the valley. The rest of the gang's up north by the old sawmill here. Head on up there, and they'll put you on the battle plan. I'll be staying here to watch the field and send status updates. Good luck out there. You'll find the sawmill at the far end of the valley. So, they've sent... Perimeter's clear. clear. Still no sign of incursion. Strider at the sawmill. Keep an eye out. Now we have a Strider coming in from the water tower.
again. Another Strider coming towards the sawmill. A Strider has been spotted by a train.
launch is in its final stages. The portal's close to opening, but Dr. Magnuson sure will be in time to stop it. Tracking beacon. Oh, there's another bit of cruft we can ignore. Support equipment powered down. Hold on a moment, Climber. Ah, Freeman. Well, I see the Magnuson device performed flawlessly. I feel compelled. Thank you. For saving my rock. So, um, thank you. <clears throat> well, that's enough chit chat. I've got a rocket to launch. <laughs> wow. For a minute there, I thought you were going to get a hug. Let's go to the control room. We can get a great view of the launch from there. What? This one? Flight termination well, here we are again. While you were out having fun, I found an old helicopter that I was able to get working. I've got it all packed up and ready to go. Never a dull moment, huh? Wait a moment. I'm seeing a payload anomaly of approximately eight and a half pounds. Well, that's with intolerance. That's certainly not worth scuttling. We're back. At last. Ah, Gordon. Hell of a job you did out there, son. Uh, let's not forget that with the Magnuson device, those striders practically destroy themselves. Yes. Well, I think perhaps Gordon had something to do with their success. I suggest we adjourn this meeting of the Mutual Admiration Society until after we have launched our rocket. Now, I believe we're ready to start the auto sequence. I believe Gordon should have. You'll hear no objection from me. It's all yours, Gordon. is ticking. We couldn't have cut it any closer if that was our intention. It is going to work, right? It has to. Once the rocket is in range of the portal, we'll be able to switch on the Xenium resonator. Well, let's get outside. I'd like a better view of the fireworks. There should be quite a show. Regrettably, I can't come out with you. Magnuson and I will need to keep a close eye on the rocket's trajectory. Aren't you going to see us off? Just as soon as this is wrapped up. I wouldn't dream of letting you go without a proper goodbye. Okay, I'll hold you to that. You too, Dr. Magnuson. Indeed. We'll catch up with you in a moment, sweetheart. Gordon, hold Dog, up a second. Dog, there you are. The more I think about that warning from our friend, the more I'm convinced it has to do with Borealis. Don't be deceived. That ship must never be used. You have got to destroy it, whatever the cost. Where are you two? You're gonna miss it. Be right there, Alex. Gordon, thanks for everything you've done. For Alex, for all of us. I couldn't be prouder if you were my own son. Now when you get back, we've got a lot to- Come on. Eli, Gordon, Alex, look at the portal. We've activated the resonator! This is it! Oh my! It's yes. working! The portal has been neutralized! We did it! Oh my rocket! We did it! Oh my rocket! We sure as hell did. And not a moment too soon. I knew it would work! I'm a genius! No! <laughs> I'll bet the Combine aren't too happy right now. You got that right, sweetheart. But we've got plenty to celebrate. I wish you didn't have to head off so soon. If only it weren't so critical. It's okay, Dad. 
We'll find Judith and bring her back. Dog? Hey, where are you? What a nut. Don't go too far. Well, there she is. Gassed up and ready to go. Remember to keep in constant contact. We have no idea what to expect. Don't worry, Dad. We'll be all right. I just wish all this didn't have to fall on you, Alex. Your mother would be so proud. Dad. Come on, Gordon. The chopper's waiting for us. Are you sure you have everything you need? I think so. Dr. Kleiner gave us the Borealis coordinates. We'll keep the hailing frequency open on the chopper radio in case Judith tries to reach us again. Good idea. She could well make another attempt. Oh no. Dad! Gordon! Ah! 